It's Rainiacs, Mel the Train Shooter, back in the studio and back with another Let's Make for you. Now in this Let's Make, we're starting a new series called Battlefield Pacific and we're going to be looking at some palm trees. So let's head over to the bench, let's get cracked on, eh? Come on! Okay guys, first we're going to start off with the trunk itself, okay? Now we're going to be doing royal palms or coconut palms. We're actually going to be doing coconut palms because they'll have coconuts. Okay, but they're the ones with the long, tall trunks. Now, the trunks can go anywhere up to 60 meters in length. Yeah, which if you scale it down to tabletop size, it's still about three foot tall. Now, we're using what you call it, as there aren't going to be anywhere near that, we're probably going to be about eight inches tall, to be perfectly honest. Uh, this is 10 inch wire. It's 0 0.07 mil thick, and I've got 13 of them here. Now, what I need to do is, one, get my base, Okay, which means I need to basically bend off the bottom bit there. Okay, so like that. Yeah, and then I can spread them all around. And then what I'm going to do is, once they're all spread around and nice and even, yeah, I'm just going to run a little bit of masking tape, yeah, just around there and thicken it out a bit. Nice and easy, simple base, yeah, and it's going to stand on that. Okay, the next thing I need to do is, because we're doing, what you call it, coconut palms, they have like a rib that goes up because coconut trees grow in sort of proportions, they bud up, okay, and so they have these ribs. Now, you could cover this with a modeling putty and sculpt those ribs so they are cylindrical, yeah, and they go all the way round the tree, the tree trunk, yeah, but I... Uh, it's a lot of work, and if you've got that sort of time, then good on you. Now, I've got 13 of these wires here, yeah? So I'm going to take one of these wires, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat, and I'm going to wrap, yeah? So what I'm going to do is wrap that round, okay? And I'm going to make the spacing a bit uneven, okay? So it's not regular, yeah? But I'm going to basically wrap this, and I'm going to take it up to about, to about there, okay? So wrapping it is dead simple. You just grab it and just wrap it round, yeah? Right, I'll crack on. Right, that's done now, and you can see I've got this wire just trailing off here. What I'm gonna do now is fold this wire in, and then we're gonna get a little bit more masking tape and just put it around there, and that will be the top of our palm tree. Yeah, so I'll get that done. And there we go, okay? You can see the ribbon going round. Yeah, if I bring it up. Yeah, there you are. Yeah, and taped across at the top. And I've got about half a bit left over up here. We're gonna trim this down as we go, but that's the general height of my palm tree. Now the next thing I need to do is simply hot glue it onto this base here so we've got a steady base we can work from. Right, so there it is, all glued down on my base, and I've put a little bend in it, a little kink. Yeah, should call it west side, shouldn't I? Right, on to the next stage. Now I've got some, what you call it, sort of industrial tissue paper. You know the stuff that you find inside like service stations and stuff like that. Yeah, and I've cut a little square out of it. Now, as I said in previous videos, when I've come to barking, you know, when we've done the realistic season, that sort of stuff, we've always used Millie Put and I've sculpted it on. In this case, because I'm using this as the substructure, I'm gonna go and just simply wrap this tissue around it, very, very carefully. Now, you watch me screw this up. Yeah, and then once I've got it wrapped around, I only need a little, yeah. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna come along and I'm gonna use a little bit of water, a little bit of PVA, yeah, so, yeah, water, oh god, soaked that already, <laughs> typical me, innit, right, and I need a brush, yeah, and I just want to thin this PVA down, yeah, and then I'm just going to brush it on, yeah, just like that. Now it is a bit fiddly, but once it's brushed on, you'll be able to push it in and get those ribs. So if I very quickly, just show you what I'm trying to work towards. Yeah, if I bring that up, do you see how the ribs are slowly coming through? You can see those ribs. It'll work perfect, guys. Yeah, so just wrap it up and PVA it up, which I'm gonna do now and I'll come back once that's done. And there you have it. You can see the ribs, it's got a bit of cross texture because of crinkling. It looks rather nice. Now what we need to do is leave this up to dry Okay, and then we'll come back and carry on painting it once it's dry. Right, this is all dry now, and you can see how it's ended up. Beautiful, isn't it? Right, next job we've got to do is we've got to add sort of like the top of the florage bud there and the sprouting bud there. So, back to the milliput, and all I'm going to do is very quickly just sort of smear it round the bottom here. Yeah. 
I'm just going to keep shaping it until I can get it roughly just all the way around. Yeah. So I'll keep shaping this. Right, so there we have it. It's all on. Now the next thing I've got is, if you look down here, yeah, I've been shaving a bit of balsa wood with my blade and I've got these little... What's the best way of describing them? Just little shavings. Okay, now palm trees when they grow, at the bottom they can bud and then they can kill the leaves off which leave like these dead sort of leaf stems. So all I'm going to do is starting at the top, yeah, I'm just going to start pushing a few of these in, yeah, just like that. I do want to push them in at the bottom so they sort of flick out a little, yeah, so I'm going to work through a few of these and add these on. Right, so there you have them, okay. Now the final thing that I need to do is I want to get a bit of hairy texture on this because they're, they're typically hairy. So what I've done is I've chopped up a load of coconut fibre into very, very tiny pieces and all I'm going to do is come along yeah, and sort of tap them in. Yeah, spread it all out, tap off the excess, keep going. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to have paint over it anyway. Yeah, I'll take that one off. But if I bring it up and show you what I'm sort of doing, yeah, dead easy. Yeah, so I'm just going to add a, a little bit more, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to repeat exactly the same, but much thinner, just up here, and I'm going to have these fibres, these sort of dry leaves, pointing downward a bit, okay? All right, so there you have it. We've got our leaves in, we've got a little bit of texture, we're going to be adding more to that anyway. Yeah, so the next thing I need to do is just with a very little watered down PVA, just give this a little bit of a brush over, just to help it all seal, etc. And then we'll leave it to dry and come back to paint it up. There you are, that's all dried now, and if I bring it up, you can see it there, and there. Lovely. Right, I've got here a mix, an equal part mix of brown paint and PVA. Yeah, and it's just time to give it a base coat. So all I'm going to do is base coat the trunk and then very carefully base coat this lot. Yeah. Obviously, when I'm doing this, I don't want to dislodge anything. Yeah, but this will just help keep it all in place. And what you'll get is you'll get the little fibres sort of sticking through lighter, which is exactly what we want. So I'm going to crack on with this. I'll come back when it's done. Right, that's all dry now. And if I bring it up, yeah, you can see that sort of hairy texture with the dried fronds sort of sticking out and if I go to the top yeah now obviously we've got to highlight this up okay and so what I've got is I've got some of the brown that we used to do the bark and then I've got some sort of cream yeah and all I'm going to do is start mixing them up sort of lighten them up a bit yeah. take off the excess yeah. And then when I highlight this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to go up. Yeah, and that will catch these ridges and create a shadow just above them, creating that look of a palm tree. Okay. Bring that up. See where we're going with this? Right, I'm going to do this and then I'm going to lighten up just a little bit more and just do another highlight, okay? At the same time, I'm just going to also pick out these fronds and just highlight those up a bit. So there we have it. Okay, time to lighten it up. So a bit more of my cream into the mix. Yeah, take the excess off. and very lightly highlight. Yeah, so if I bring it up, okay. So I'm gonna do this layer, so there we are. Yeah, not oh, beautiful. Okay, next job we need to do is we need to get the coconuts on it. So we're gonna put this side, put the coconuts together and then drop these on. Now for the coconuts, we're going to make them out of milliput. Now you can use green stuff, you can use air drying clay. I'm just using milliput because it's my personal preference. All I've got is two equal parts. I'm going to roll these together. Then I'm going to roll them into some rough coconut balls. Okay. 
So I've made a couple of balls. Yeah, and next job is, because coconuts grow in clusters, what we're going to do is we're going to group them together. Yeah, just like that. Yeah, so we've got a pair of balls. Yeah, next thing I've done is I've made, let me drop my balls down there. Yeah, a little U out of wire. Can you see that? Yeah, it is just literally a little bit of the wire we were using for the tree armature. And all we've done is we've bent it over and clipped it off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick that in one of my balls. Push it right in. And I'm going to have to reshape it a bit. Yeah, so it ends up like that. Okay, now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get a cocktail stick and just at the top here, I'm just going to poke it in there. Now that is just simply to make it easier to work with when it comes to painting. So I've got something to hold them by. Yeah, and then the last thing I need to do is I actually need another cocktail stick, so grab one out. And coconuts have three little holes at the bottom of them. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go one, two, three, and do the same on the other side. One. Two, three, there you are, and then just neaten that up. And there we have it, there's our coconuts ready for hanging. Okay, obviously we've got to paint them up and do a little bit more on them, but what we need now is just for these to dry. Okay, so we're going to put those up and come back once they're dry. Right, our coconuts are dry now and we just need to paint them up. So what I've got is I've got a little bit more chopped coconut fibre there. Yeah, because if you remember, coconuts are sort of hairy, yeah? I'm going to add a little bit of paint, I'm going to add a little bit of PVA, just like that, two thirds paint, one third PVA, yeah, and then what I'm going to do is give it a mix, and sprinkle in our coconut fibre and then give it another mix. We should get like a hairy slop. And then all we need to do with this slop, yeah, this hairy slop, let me bring it up for you. Yeah, do you see it? Is, get it? <laughs> and then just paint it on. Don't try and be any sort of clever or specific or anything like that, just get it on there. Yeah, it will, it won't look 100%, trust me. Yeah, you have to sort of pick this stuff up and, and literally layer it on. Yeah. And we're not trying to get the coconuts fully painted, we're just trying to get this, this hairy base on it. Yeah, so they look a bit more like coconuts. That's it. And what you can do is you can concentrate just on one side of it. Yeah, because you're only going to see one side anyway. Yeah, so if I hold that up there. Yeah. Hairy coconuts. Simple as. Yeah. Sprinkle a few more of these little ones on, I think. While it's still wet. Oh, it's refining. I wasn't going to do this, but I think it needs it. There you go. I'll bring those up. Now, when they dry, we'll be able to hit them with another coat of brown. Yeah, and they'll be perfect. Yeah, we'll have to give them a bit of a trim because some of the hairs are a little bit longer. Right, that's them dry. Okay. Now, they're a little bit hairy, so the next thing I need to do is, basically, I'm going to give them a, a trim with what's with my clippers. And all I'm doing is I'm just going round them. Yeah, and I'm just looking for where it's really, really sort of sticking out. And I'm just trimming those bits back a bit. Right, coconuts are all done. Yeah, they're looking rather good. Okay, next job I need to do is, I need to, what you call it? I need to sort of add a little bit of sort of fur, dried husk and leaves and stuff like this. Now, I've got a little bit of coconut fibre, just a little. Yeah, and what I'm going to do is, I'm essentially just going to drop it onto there, feed it down. Yeah, want a bit more. Down 
it goes. It's a bit messy, I know, but there you go. Okay, next job. We're going to hang these on here. Now, if you remember when we did them, yeah, I made some special little loops, and all it is a matter of grabbing an outside one, putting it through the hole, wiggle it, come on, you will go through. Oh, don't deny me now. This is one of those Mel moments in it. Right, I need to widen the hole a little so I can get this through. Back in a sec. Made my hole a little wider. Right, and then all I've got to do is feed this down. If I bring that up. Yeah, you see what we're doing? I'm going to add a little bit more coconut fibre just in between there. Yeah, and then I'll start to drop the other ones on, yeah? Right, there we go. It's a bit scraggy at the minute. Yeah, we need to fix this. So I'm going to use a little bit of brown paint and a little bit of PVA. And then dead quickly. Yeah, I might need to water this down. We'll see how we go. Yeah, I'm just going to put some in. Just at the top. Yeah, just to hold all that coconut fibre together and where I've dropped the actual coconuts down. Right, we'll leave that to dry and then we'll come back and we'll watch cut it and we'll trim it up. There we go, all dry and next bit, just give it a bit of a trim. So obviously hanging down quite a lot so I just want to trim these back a bit. Yeah, I'll get this trimmed and then we'll come back and we'll do the leaves, eh? The final stage is adding the fronds. Now, there is a technique where you can use feathers and paint them and they produce beautiful palm tree fronds. Now, I'll be honest with you guys, it's not something I've done a lot of. Yeah, I've only dabbled with it once before and I've just been playing with it and that's where I can get so far. Yeah. Now, it's not good enough, so I've got 200 feathers on the way, so I'm going to master it in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, and I'll come back and I'll show you how to do it once I know how to do it. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you how I've been doing it. Yeah. Now, this is my cheap and easy way. If you're doing jungle sort of terrain, you're going to be buying a lot of plastic plants. Keep your eyes out for really dirt cheap bundles on these sort of leafy sort of bouquet. Yeah. And if you look at them really close, Underneath, they're sort of a, a printed plastic and they work perfect. So all you've got to do is pick a nice leaf. I like that one. No, I don't. I like that one. That one. Yeah. Cut it off. Okay. There's your leaf. Yeah, now palm tree fronds, they are eye-shaped. Okay. So... And what you're left with is something like that. And if we hold it up against our palm tree, yeah, we can get a rough idea scale and that's quite nice. Yeah, I just need to nip off these bits at the end, make them a little bit more pointed for me. That's better. Right, final thing is palm tree leaves are essentially fronds and there are lots and lots and lots of little leaves coming out from a central stem. So what we need to do is replicate that. And what we're going to do is dead simple. Yeah, with a hobby blade, it's going to be difficult. Now watch your fingers. Right, it's starting there. So I'm going to come along and all I'm doing is lots and lots of little cuts. And what you're left with is that. Yeah, lots of cuts. And then once you've done your cuts, just go very quickly, sort of scraggly over it and it'll rip a few of the little bits out and sort of get that irregular pattern. Okay, next thing is, obviously it's got this sort of plastic under stem. So we're going to use that to glue it onto there. Now, dead simple. Yeah, I'm using gel super glue. You could use hot glue if you were, if you reckon you can be steady enough, but you know me. And so I've got my super glue on it, and then all I'm gonna do is just come along, yeah, and then just line those up. And because it's a gel one, it should grip really nice. Go on, grip. There. Yeah, and then all I've gotta do is just hold it. And that's our first palm. Right, I've got a few more to do. So I'll crack on with these and I'll come back once these are all glued on. So there's the leaves attached. Yeah, don't they look beautiful? Yeah, I'd say all I had to do was like, like I say, glue, glue them on and then just bend the wires to what, what sort of position I wanted them to and then just bend the plastic. And you get Beautiful results. Now, the final thing to do is obviously we just need to base it. So for that, I've got a little bit of PVA. I've got some really light flock, okay? And 
I've got some of my standard green. Yeah, I'm not going for dark colours because obviously this is sort of jungle, tropical region. So ground would be dry. Yeah, well, that's what I'm thinking. So I'm just going to give this a quick coat of PVA. So there's the PVA on it. And then what I'm going to do is really easy. Go for my light flock first. Same sort of spotting method, mainly around the base of the tree. And I want this to sort of be quite the main concentration, to be truthful. Yeah, so round a go. Yeah, obviously leaving gaps. Yeah. Then finally, one quick dump in our standard green. And there you go. Okay. Now, I just need to leave that to dry, and then we'll add some clumps to it. So the flock's all dry now, and it's time just to add the final base foliage. Now, obviously, because it's jungle, I've got a few plastic plants, I've got a bit of clump foliage, and I've got some light tufts from my army painter. So the tufts, they're self-adhesive, so all I need to do is just literally pull them out, yeah, and stick them on. Yeah, with regards to the clump foliage, that's just a matter of dipping it in a little bit of PVA, coming along and sticking it down and for the plastic plants I'm using hot glue yeah now you if you haven't got hot glue you can use a gel super glue PVA won't work that well with plastic yeah but just a matter of putting a bit of hot glue down sticking the plant in and then because of the type of plant this is and it's got a sort of hole right there yeah I'm just going to put a bit of hot glue in there and then a little bit of clump foliage. There we go. And I'm going to add a few more little bits onto this and clean up these little wisps and we'll come back once it's done. There you go. That's all the foliage added. Does it look beautiful? Yeah. And so there you have it, guys. That's uh, cheap and simple, what you call it, palm trees. Now, just to break it down, you don't have to do any of the feathering up here or the coconuts or, you know, the hair or anything like that. You don't even have to do the wire wrapped around it. You can go for a simple wire straight up, thicken it a bit and just wrap it around with tape. Yeah, you don't have to go for the plastic plants for these leaves. Yeah, just simply go for cardboard or you can even get masking tape and sort of fold it over itself. I've seen that done. Yeah, as I said, I am working on the feather ones and when I've got something to show you on that count, I'll bring it back. But in the meantime, there you go. How's that for palm trees? Obviously, I've got lots more of these to make because I'm using them for my Burma build. So, expect to see more Pacific stuff coming up in the very near future. Right, let's set off for the long shot, eh? So that's it, guys. Making palm trees is as simple as that. And remember, they're actually quite complicated palm trees, you know, but without getting into the old feather thing. Now, as I said in the in the actual, the actual tutorial, I'm working on feathers. I've got 200 of them coming, and I'm going to master doing sort of palm tree fronds with feathers. Yeah, and so expect a terrain lab on, on that, sort of going along the journeys in the future. And when I've really got it down and I can do a masterclass, we'll do a realistic scenic trees video on palm trees and really do some beautiful ones. But in the meantime, yeah, this is pretty much where I stand with palm trees. It's certainly good enough for most tables, and I'm, I'm sure there's lots you can take from it. So, with that in mind, yeah, if you've got any questions on this, get them in the comments. If you've got any suggestions or things I should be looking at, get them in the comments. If you like the video, like it. And if you know anyone who would find it useful, share it. And as always, guys, you know, if you really do like these videos, then, you know, please consider jumping on board Patreon, yeah? Just one dollar a month, that's all it needs. It's just a regular thing. It helps keep money in. It gets time for me to sort of buy 200 feathers and then get the time to study and figure out and test and work it all out so I can come and cut out all those shortcuts and all the hassle for you and give you the techniques that you can just pick up and run with. But I can't do this without your support. And if you don't like the idea of support and charity, think of it like a subscription, you know? You, you jump on Patreon, it helps keep all this great content coming. So, if you are interested in Patreon, jump on board Patreon up there. And if you're not into like the monthly thing, there's my email address down below for if you want to send a gift via PayPal. Either is great. Now, if you're new to the channel, you can subscribe there. And if you're looking for more Let's Make videos, they're over there. And in the meantime, guys, I've got lots more jungly stuff coming your way. And don't forget, I'm doing my own Burma board as well. So, 
I'll see you soon, guys. All the best, yeah? Ta-da.